morning everybody uh, welcome back to the channel uh, it's uh, Saturday 22nd of July uh, so I just got my uh, side by side back from uh, first service I brought it in last Saturday into the dealer to uh, get the uh, break-in service done um, I wanted to get that one done at the dealership uh, just for warranty sake uh, so I just thought I'd just run you through uh, what they actually did and how much it cost uh, I'm here in Canada uh, so these in Canadian dollars uh, so like I said I brought it in last week they um, they did the following so they do the first service in there it's a base cost of $149.99 and then they add on any materials oil blah 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 so they did uh, lubricate all grease points pivots and cables uh, change the oil and filter of course uh, clean out what they call the air strainer I'm not 100% sure, 100 sure what that is the air filter is another line so I'm not sure what the air strainer is uh, so they inspect the air filter uh, says uh, replace if dirty do not clean I have a uni filter in mind so that's really not applicable uh, and I only just put that uni filter in about a week or so before I brought it in uh, so they checked level and inspect leaks for the front and rear gear case oil uh, spec for leaks in the coolant and check the level uh, inspected the brake pads for the thickness uh, test the battery and check the terminals uh, check the idle condition uh, make sure it's running at the idling at proper RPM stuff like that uh, they did a steering and wheel alignment and inspected the steering system uh, check the foot brake and parking brake and adjust uh, look for leaks in the gear case CV shaft prop shafts and inspected leaks in the engine hoses, gaskets, and seals. Uh, so they basically just said they uh, serviced the unit, changed the oil and filter, check front and rear suspension, check coolant, check battery, check terminals, check starting tire pressures, and retorqued the uh, lugs nuts on the wheels. Uh, as you can see, this one has um, also has the bead locks. So that was all retorqued. Uh, checked front and rear diff fluids, checked transmission fluid, and greased the unit. Uh, they also did the rust check coating as well. Uh, that was only $15.99. I think that was just the spray can stuff. Uh, so they charged extra for that. Uh, they charged for the oil filter. And they also charged for the oil itself, which was the most expensive. It was... Um, 17 bucks a liter or a quart if you're in the US watching this so uh, when it was all said and done the final total with taxes and everything was two hundred ninety one dollars forty six cents Canadian again I did have a 15% off card that they gave me when I bought the machine uh, so that brought it down to 253.44 so that's what the first service costs. Uh, the rest of the servicing I'll probably end up just doing myself. Uh, but like I said, as this one was the break-in one, I wanted to get that done at the dealership just for the warranty sake. Uh, I will likely bring it in when the valve clearance check um, interval comes up. So that's at uh, 100 hours or 3,200 kilometers. So right now I brought it in at 320. Of course because that's the interval uh, i drove it a little bit today right now i'm at about 3 325 330 somewhere around there uh, so i drove it a bit this morning when i got it back so uh yeah that's planned anyways unless something drastic happens but the plan is to uh bring it back in to get the servicing done in there uh once the valve check interval comes up uh the rest of the stuff you know the regular oil changes checking re-greasing stuff like that I do all that myself uh, like I said I do have a reusable filter in there so uh, now that I got it back 
from its first servicing. I have a few things I want to do. Uh, I want to put a light bar on. Uh, I want to put uh, amber uh, fog lights in the front. I want to put some uh, either a small light bar or light pods in the back. And I also have a um, I have a rear Kemimoto bumper on order. I have a set of rock sliders on order. And I also have an Oxbeam 8 gang switch. Uh, actually, had that's inside the cabin there now, actually, uh, that I want to put on as well. <clears throat> so, so far with the Oxbeam, at the time of this video, I have the uh, positioning. I'm going to put it under the hood. I was able to get it to fit. Uh, so I'll show you more of that. I've started a video of that uh, But before I started doing the wiring and stuff. I wanted to have the uh, break-in servicing done so uh, Hopefully maybe the next video that you see will be the installation of that gang switch uh, fuse or fuse block and gang switch um, So anyways guys, I hope uh, you stay tuned for uh, those videos of Putting that stuff up. I do plan on this channel. I mean, this channel's still pretty new, uh, but I do plan on having more stuff than side by side stuff. It's just that's what I've been doing a lot of lately. Uh, in between work, is kind of riding side by side, and it's too hot now to really do any work, anyways. So, uh, and uh, yeah, so I hope this uh, bit of information is helpful to somebody, and uh, as always, uh, if you could, uh, comment, like, subscribe, dislike, whatever you want. Uh, and I uh, hope you stay tuned for the upcoming videos. So enjoy the rest of your weekend.